Welcome to a video tutorial on how to use the website Wordle.net. This is a website where you can create your own word cloud, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a word cloud and edit your word cloud. To begin, we will click on Create Your Own once you are at Wordle.net. In this first box, you can paste any text that you would like. In the second box, you can enter the URL of any blog, blog feed, or any other web page that has an Atom or RSS feed. In this third box, if you are a delicious user, you may enter the delicious username to see their tags. Back to the first box, I'm going to enter the words cat, dog, fish, for an example. The more times you type in a word, the bigger that word appears in your word cloud. As an example of a sentence, I will do the fish swims. In order to make this appear as a sentence, I'll hit backspace between all of the words. Between the and fish, on your keyboard hit shift and then the tilde and do the same between fish and swims, shift, tilde. This will now appear as a sentence in the word cloud. Punctuation does not show up in the word cloud. Now let's hit go. Here is our word cloud. The first way to edit this word cloud is to go down to the bottom of your screen and hit the randomize button. Each time you hit this button, it takes you through different color combinations and layouts and fonts that Wordle has to offer. A more specific way to customize your web cloud would be to go back up to the top of the screen. Your edit button, you can undo the randomize you just did or redo it. The language button, you can remove any numbers if they appear leave words as spelled, make them lowercase, uppercase, or you can remove any languages from your word cloud. The font tab allows you to specifically pick which font you would like. The layout tab allows you to view the maximum number of words, and you can choose the number of words you want to appear in your word cloud. It allows you to choose for your word cloud to be in alphabetical order, rounder or straighter edges in your word cloud. Um, and it also allows you to decide which way you want your words to appear in your word cloud, mostly horizontal, half and half, vertical. Under the color tab, you can pick which color scheme you would like your word cloud to have. In terms of saving your word cloud, you can go down to the bottom and hit Save to Public Gallery. In doing so, you are saving your word cloud so that everyone in the gallery or who visits Wordle.net is able to see your word cloud. To save your word cloud privately for yourself, you can go over to the Print button. Once you hit Print, if you're a Mac user, you can choose to save it to, as a PDF in the Print dialog box. If you are a Windows user, you will need to download or use Adobe Acrobat and save as a PDF in that program. There is also a open and new window tab where your word cloud appears in a new window. The tabs at the top of the Wordle homepage, home where we visited previously to begin with, create where we are right now, gallery where you can see others word clouds, credits where the creator of Wordle acknowledges those who helped him. News, where the creator has his own Wordle blog to discuss where Wordle is currently and what his plans for Wordle are. And there is a forum button, which is a uh, place for all Wordle users to discuss any concerns or questions they may have. And what I think one of the best tabs at the top of the page is the FAQ tab. In the FAQ tab, 
um, you can find answers to any questions you may have about Wordle in terms of how to save if you're not really sure. Um, you can ask questions on filtering text, um, exactly what languages may show up, uh, why you can't get a certain word to show up, why numbers may not be showing up. It's a great place to find any answer you may have in terms of using the Wordle website. And that is the end of our tutorial.